So I'm joined by Dr. Harris Shaquille from GBMC. Got another question about, um, this is interesting because if a person has diabetes or is living with diabetes, sometimes their closest friends, their loved ones, their mm -hmm. family members would certainly know about that. Yeah. And they can either help mm -hmm. with that or sometimes they can be a hindrance to it. Mm -hmm. I, our question from Caitlin is about an elderly relative who's living with diabetes and try, how do you help someone? who might not really have a large appetite yeah. um, get through, especially this time of year when there is some bad choices out there? Yeah, um, that's a good question, Caitlin. So basically, if, if you need to know if they're eating at certain times and they're very limited in their food intake, then make sure that whatever they're eating has um, has some portion of fat, protein, and you know carbs. So these are very. Um, I don't know if you can show it on the screen. There's a plate method that we mm -hmm. sh show people. Um, it's a very simple visual illustration uh, where you take a nine-inch dinner plate and you cut it into half, and you fill one half with your non-starchy vegetables and fruits. And when I say non-starchy, I mean your salads, your greens, your cauliflower, carrot, um, spinach. Starchy ones are potatoes, peas, and corns. So you want to avoid those. And then you take the other half, you divide it one quarter with the lean meat. Um, that will include fish, um, um, tofu, cheese, eggs, and the other quarter with pasta, rice, and um, you know, starchy food. Potatoes. Do I have to eat the tofu or can I skip that? You can part? skip that. Okay, that's, 